Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, a PlayStation game. We are about to play, I am about to play one of my most favorite games of all time, or pretty much my favorite game of all time. Sony Computer Entertainment America presents a really fantastic game. A Universal Interactive Studios production. A game created and developed by Naughty Dog. Don't let me get out of the box. <laughs> this is, like I said, my all-time favorite Press crash game, stop. or video game in general. Let's begin. And I'll be quiet for the cutscenes. Well, well, at least one that's talking. Uh, and I'll, uh, whenever we do get to the gameplay, I'll explain pretty much why this is my most favorite game of all time. Uka is free. No, it cannot be. Evil, great evil has come. None dare to fail the brave Uka Uka even once. But you, Cortex, you have failed me twice. Great Uka Uka, it was that infer. Bandicoot! From deep inside my temple prison, I sent you simple instructions to follow. But you lost the gems, you lost the crystals, and I have lost my patience! There is now no other power source left on this planet. I know we've had a few unfortunate setbacks and failed but since your bumbling has managed to set me free i am feeling generous there is still a way for us to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet and this time this time the great uka uka will make sure that you do it right after many eons my evil twin Uka Uka has been freed from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. Children, Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time-twisting machine to gather crystals that lay scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do so. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. Alright. So, the explanation of why this is my most favorite game of all time. Um, I will say this. I will go ahead and say this. I do think that there are technically better games out there than this game. Uh, I still think that this game is great on its own, but I think that, um, how should I explain this? Like I think this is great on its own, but it's just, I love doing that, um, it's just that, um, how should I explain, uh, it's, this is kind of a family favorite game. And, um, you know, like, my whole family, like, really likes this game and stuff. Uh, I'm just messing around while I explain Babylon. So, yeah, um, this is kind of a family favorite. It has some good memories and stuff. So, yeah, nostalgia definitely plays a part in it. But it's still, it's still a great game on its own, even if it's not real, technically the best to me. Not, like, the best in terms of, like, if you just compare it to all the other games. 
but I still it's still my favorite due to certain reasons. But I would still give it like like a eight out of ten at least. If uh, you know, if it weren't for the nostalgia like I'll still give it an eight out of ten without the nostalgia. It's still a pretty great game. You know what? I can't remember if my memory card is hold on. I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, I'm back. <coughs> Just had to check my memory card real quick. So we sh so I'll save it. And I guess we'll put in my name and all that jazz. Yep, Danny BS. <laughs> uh, I should have put um, Danny BSG, but eh, oh well. Or Danny Vaness Gaming. Anyway, we shall get started with Toad Village. Back in the media. Oh, yeah, cutscene. Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh, look, I have a mask helping me, too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. Gosh, I could, I could just, I could just, you know, quote a lot of these, just, you know. <laughs> Been playing this game for years. In fact, this was my very first game I've ever played. Uh, by the way. <laughs> As far back as my me mine and my family's memory goes, this is the very first game I've ever played. And it just happens to be my favorite. Even if it's not, if it, even if it ends up not being the very first game I've ever played, it's still gonna be my, fa it's still gonna be my favorite game. Uh, now I haven't really determined what would be my, what's actually my favorite game in terms of not using nostalgias to partially back it up. Um, I'd have to think about that. Because like I said, there are technically better games out there. Um, it's just that there's certain, there's certain reasons that are explained of why this is my favorite. Alright. So here we go with the, uh, these are how the, ch uh, the, um, bonus rounds are in this game. Um, this this gameplay is essentially a lot like Crash 2, uh, so they don't have to build new mechanics. But uh, if you notice there, I just um, unlike Crash 1 and 2, whenever I uh, whenever I was stepping on those uh, ones with multiple Wampa fruit, or like where you have to jump on it and. And in previous games, they give you one at a time, and there's like ten all together in them. <laughs> the, the bouncy boxes. Uh, well, in this game, it only takes five hits because they give you two per uh, per jump. Yeah, see, so like two, so it only takes up to five. Definitely cuts down on the, uh, you know, on how much time you have to spend on it. <laughs> right, let's see. Now, and like like Crash One and Two. I'm gonna be, or at least with two, uh, I'm gonna be tempted to try and complete it, but I'm not going to like actually try and 100%. This. Like I'm just gonna try to beat the main story, but only to a certain extent. Ugh, let's see. And this was the. So, oh yeah, I should go ahead and explain this. In case you didn't see it on my Facebook uh, page on the on Andy Vaness Gaming, uh, so I pretty much made a big mistake. Uh, the previous game I played was Conquer Live Reloaded, like the Bad Fur Day part of it, but Conquer Live Reloaded. Um, that's uh, he does this now. Oh yeah, it makes that oh sound now. And there's his dance. Um, <laughs> but I pretty much made a like a pretty big mistake. Um, I, uh, I, okay, so I, I did complete Conker's uh, Bad Fur Day Live and Loaded, whatever you want to call it. 
the, the Bad Fur Day part of Live and Re Reloaded. Um, I completed that, like, 100%. I 100%ed it. And, uh, then I just, and then I started editing, and I got a few videos done, and then suddenly I decided to delete a few videos, and my big mistake was I accidentally deleted some of the, uh, the ones I needed, basically. I wasn't done editing them yet, and I accidentally deleted them, so they're gone. So, if you see Conquer Line Reloaded as of, as of whenever this gets released, uh, they'll all be, uh, what I call trial runs, so, yeah. So, let's, let's stand next to him. Okay, then. Um. Shoot, I, I don't know how to do this. I want to do a photo thing. There we go. 